Hey everyone, if you saw some of my last videos on the portable tent that I was using to store my motorcycles, you saw that I was having a little bit of problems with them. It's dry enough now to where I decided to put the tent back up and use some of the parts I used from a previous tent. This time when I did it, I used a method that I, I like to call the right way. So as you can see, the 10 by 17 Harbor Freight tent holds uh, plenty of your plenty of your gear. I've got my VMAX, Caboose's Himalayan, a rider tractor and trailer, and the T-Dub in here with plenty of room still for a couple of trailers, trailer hitches, sorry and just whatever else I might need to put in here to kind of free up room in the garage. This is a very good tent. I've done a review on it before. Uh, it was my fault that I did it the wrong way. And like I said, this time I did it the right way. I put it up right before, the first one I put up right before a rainstorm. And the takeaway of it is just make sure you run the poles through the little loops in the tarp here. Last time I didn't do that, water accumulated in these pockets on this side and the whole tent just collapsed. If you do it the right way, you shouldn't have a problem. I also got these sandbags off of Amazon and it helps to reinforce it and keep wind from blowing up underneath it. I have to say for the price tag, it's worth it. I would definitely get another one of these. Uh, like I said, it was my fault that it, it broke down the first time, but yes, I, I'm very happy with this one. And just so you know, you can see the tarp in the back also rolls up. I had a spare uh, tarp. I actually have a whole tent set that's a spare part, but I decided to use uh, front and back roll-ups so that I have easy entrance uh, you know to the backyard and and whatnot so so there you have it 10 by 17 Harbor Freight don't be afraid to spend the money on it all right thanks for watching we'll see you next time